Welcome back to the Learn It channel. Today we are quickly going to address an issue that a couple users have had and I thought it would be good to produce a tutorial on this because I think many of you have the same issue or might come across the same issue at some point. So this user was trying to finish our table tutorial. Now, if you haven't done that tutorial yet, I'll put it on the top right of the screen. You can click on that or it's in the description below. I encourage you to follow along to it. There's a lot of uh, good techniques to be learned in that tutorial. However, this is the problem. Let me just zoom in here. Is that the user has created a sketch on the leg. However, when they hover over it, uh, you cannot pick uh, uh, the different close profile here. So he wants to extrude this part of the leg and he cannot pick it. Once he clicks on it, then the entire leg gets uh, selected. So the entire face. So even uh, if we long click, uh, this is another little secret. You can uh, p like pretend you have x-ray vision. You can pick um, the front face that's looking directly at you or the normal that you're looking at. Or this is, believe it or not, the other side of the face you can pick. So that doesn't work either. So there's something wrong with this. So let's take it one step at a time. First of all, I can see that there's some lines that are projected. So if we create a sketch correctly on a face of a part, it will inherit all the geometry and we won't need to use projected lines. So this gives one indication that there's something wrong. Now we're going to address that too. Just keep bearing with us here. But let's talk about one solution first of all. This is the sketch in question. I know because if I bring the timeline to the left, the sketch disappears. Now, if I bring the timeline back, the sketch reappears. So we can always click on that. You can see that as I click on it, there's the dash lines under legs. So the sketch is created within our, our leg component right there. But this is the thing. If we right click, we have something called redefine sketch plane. And right now, I don't know where the user created the sketch plane with. Now, he could have picked this face. Something wrong could have happened. A bug could have happened. A, a number of different things. However, look at this. When I redefine the sketch plane, I'm going to go OK. Now, look what happens. Ah, now we've got this closed profile right there. So, and you can see that it, believe it or not, it projects everything. So this kind of leads me to believe that even though the user tried to select this face of the leg originally, something wasn't selected right. I don't know what it could have been. There could have been a change later on that I don't know the workflow without digging into this. However, this is one simple solution. Um, you can see that now the leg, it shouldn't have these projected lines, but it does. So again, this is telling me that there is some issue with the work plane originally. Now, let's show you the other way. This is the way that should work bulletproof for you. I'm just going to delete that sketch. We're going to make sure that we activate the legs. We are going to click on our sketch and we're going to make sure to pick this face. Now, some users might have a hard time with this. They might be picking up here, but look at this is actually the front of our desk rather than the front of our leg. So if we're trying to pick the front of our or this face of the leg, but we're up here, we're actually hovering over the tabletop, not the leg. So we have to make sure that w whatever sketch we're picking or whatever surface we're trying to pick, that we're actually picking that surface. And your eyes will be trained eventually to see that, to guarantee that what you're picking is what you want to pick. Um, you can also see that the color changes, the grid changes. There's different ways of trying to, to convince us that we're picking the right face or entity. But once we do, then this is what I was talking about before. All of this geometry is inherited. We don't need to project any of this. And what I can do is I can prove it. I'm going to hide the body. I'm going to hide the tabletop. And now we've got all of the, we've got a face that's automatically inherited. We've got an edge. We've got the vertices all over. We've got all these different entities that we can we can utilize. So if I go back to front, if I sketch my line right now, I'm going to take it from this point, and we can turn the body on too, just so it, it looks a little bit better for, for each of you that's tuning in. We can go like that. Now, if I finish sketch, and by the way, let's let's constrain this as well. I'm going to go like this and what needs to be constrained, just pick the white, whatever is white. Ah, this is constrained, constrained to the middle point right now. So I'm just going to undo that. Um, the black point means it's fully constrained on the top. This point is, it's a small black point. This is a big one. This one's small. It should have been white, but anyways, I'm going to press D for dimension. 
I'm going to pick our edge. I'm going to pick our point. Let's just put in, put, you know, 20 mils, something like that. Now it's going to fully constrain that. Everything's controlled. We're going to go finish sketch and we can extrude this just like that. And we can just go to an object. Very good. And you know what? Why don't we just do it on the other side right now too? I'm going to create another sketch. Boom, right there. And again, all of that inherit uh, and geometry is inherited. I'm going to hide the body this time and I'm going to work with that inherited geometry. And here it's a little harder to see, but we can get the point. Boom. There we go. And here's a little secret. I want to constrain this with the exact same dimension. So why don't I just make another dimension right here? I'm not going to care about what it says, but let's go back in time to the previous sketch. I'm going to hover over this and look at this. Do you see it's D15 at 20 millimeters? So remember D15. Now, if I want to make this other dimension on the next uh, sketch the same, I'm just going to type in D15. And now look at this. So this is so cool. I'm going to turn on the body. I am going to extrude this. Let's go to an object. We're going to go right there. Okay, so now we've got this cool profile that we have, but um, if I go to diameter or sketch four and I change this value, let's go to, um, let's go to 30. Why not? Let's make it a little expanded a little bit there. The other side will automatically go to 30 as well. So that's just another little bonus trick um, to make your life easier. And of course you can use parameters, which my other tutorials teach, but, uh, I hope that you've benefited from that. Uh, just to review, we talked about redefining a sketch plane. We talked about, uh, picking the correct face or entity that we'd like to sketch on. And then we also talked about utilizing dimensions in our, or dimensions that we've already created in future dimensions. So. If you've benefited at all from this tutorial, please give a like. If you love our channel, please consider subscribing or becoming a member. We look forward to seeing you at our next tutorial. Until then, hope you keep learning with the Learn It channel.